Now, Brian, the, the safety position is another position where Notre Dame really needed to kind of make a splash this year uh, mm-hmm. because of what happened again or lack of what happened in the 2020 class. So they needed at least two safeties uh, in this group, and that's exactly what they were able to nail down. Um, give me your thoughts overall and your grade as a group at uh, uh, the safety position. I went with B minus again because I felt they needed a third safety. Okay. And, and and I had it, I think I had it as a B. I didn't grade him as corner and safety in the in December. I, I would have originally had him as a B in Clark Lee's defense. I think this is one place where going to Marcus Freeman's defense changes the grade a little bit because it's technically a three safety defense. Ideally, that's what he wants. Now, you could say, well, with Philip Riley and and Chance Tucker's potential guys that could move to safety, that helps, but they're not safeties right now. They're corners. So if we're just looking at these two, I love the two they got. I give them a B plus for the two they got. Okay. The B minus comes from they're still short because yeah. they didn't sign a safety last year. Derek Allen transferred from 2018. Litchfield Ajavon has been at Notre Dame for two years and has played, I think, one defensive snap or zero. Yeah, pretty good. Um, cool. You know, he's played a very little bit of special teams. Yeah. DJ Brown's a nice rotation player. But like after Kyle Hamilton leaves in 2021, because let's be honest, this is Kyle Hamilton's last year of college. Uh, who who are your dudes? And Houston yeah, right. could be gone after this year too. You know, maybe he comes back yeah. in 2022 and takes advantage of the COVID year. Uh, but you know, you look at that safety position and you're thinking what, the future is is questionable to say the least. Yeah. And and I love the two they got, but I just I think a third is needed. And now this is going to put a lot of emphasis on next year's class. Now, here's the the rub, okay? And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. If Notre Dame signs two really good safeties next year, when I do my two-year grade next year, it's going to look a lot higher than it does now because the grade is impacted by what they didn't do last year, if that makes sense. Because part of my grade is not just about the talent. It's also about, did you meet your needs? The fit. Yeah, the fit. and the the, Yes. Right. right. And I love the guys I got. I think those guys fit into the defense well, but they did not meet their full needs because of the deficiencies of of the past year. So really, in the two previous classes, they got Kyle Hamilton and, and so far, zero defensive snaps other than Kyle Hamilton. Yeah. And so now... The players, I think, can play, and I like them both. Neither of them are are Ryan Barnes caliber players. A corner, you know, they've got a chance to be good players, but they're guys that are going to need some time, and and not necessarily guys that I view as elite. Brian Smith and I have had a, a talk about Kerry G, and we'll kind of talk about him first, Vince. Yep. yep. And he's the guy that they got on. They flipped on signing day, and and they got him from LSU. Flipped him from LSU, which says a lot. They took advantage of LSU's tumultuous season to flip him. He's a guy they should have been on early. They did a poor job recruiting Kerry G early. This is a kid that that is Notre Dame through and through. He wanted to come to Notre Dame, but they didn't really recruit him very hard early on, which is why he went to LSU. Sure, uh, they realized you know that when they struck out on some other guys, they went after him late, got him, which is great that they got him because uh, he can play. He's a big bodied kid, six three. He's listed at one eighty five. He looks a little bigger than that. Uh, he's actually a guy that I could see being a great fit in that as that third safety in in Marcus Freeman's defense. That guy that comes down in the alley, uh, and uh, kind of like what you were talking about, Philip Riley. Right, really right. Big. He could yeah. be that guy. Uh, he's rangy, plays the alleys well. He can cover. He can play the middle of the field. He can really do everything you want to, to do as a safety. Except you don't necessarily want him coming up and covering slots and man coverage. But that's not something he's going to be asked to do. Uh, but but really like him as a player. He's actually one of my top five guys upside wise in the class. If if the light goes on for him, he could be really good. It's okay. just there's there's a ways away between where he is now and 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 that level. But he's a very very rangy, long, talented football player that has a chance if if the light goes on to be to be a top notch guy. Very strong student, comes from a very good high school. Uh, I think he'll fit well at Notre Dame, and that's important, you know. Um, and, and so that was a big pickup, and that helped solidify the class. Because had you, here's if you had you not got Kerry G, what would have happened is you would have had to move one of your corners to safety. That would have taken away from the corner class. Sure. And so you'd you'd have had to take Philip Riley perhaps away from the corner class, and now the corner class isn't as good because 
you lost one of your best players and you only have three guys instead of instead of four, that kind of thing. So getting him was was really big, not just because he's a talented football player, but because it it helped you it helped you keep everybody you have. It doesn't mean somebody won't move down the road, but they're not moving because they have to. Right. They're moving because you think that guy can help you there and can go start for you at safety. Let's let's talk about uh, Justin Walters. He he's a uh, somewhat local. I mean, in, in the recruiting world, Bolingbrook, Illinois is not that far away. Uh, so from the Chicago land area, but Bolingbrook, Illinois High School uh, safety Justin Walters and uh, what his fit would look like with Notre Dame. I mean, is it any different than like Ohio State getting a kid from Cincinnati or Columbus? Right. right? Exactly. I mean, exactly. geographically, it's very similar in that yes. regard. So Good call. Yeah. So it, 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 look, Justin Walters is a guy that I think. Two things hurt him from a recruiting ranking standpoint. Number one is he committed to Notre Dame so early. He committed about a year ago. Okay. Uh, and number two is everything getting canceled. He was not able to go to camps, and then sh- Illinois still isn't allowing high school football still. Um, yeah, and so spring ball, but I don't know what the situation th- is. Th- right now, they're not letting him do it. Right, right now, really? it looks like the governor's not going to let him play, and there's starting really? to be a movement in the state where of even college players like Peter Skaronsky and some other guys are doing this kind of this let him play movement because the governor's now saying, you know, I don't want to turn this into a political conversation. So anyway, um, not getting to play as a senior <laughs> hurt him in regards to being able to go show some improvements as a player. And so when, when I watch him play, you know, I see a guy that has a lot of tools that you like as a, as a modern day safety. He can fly down the alleys. He can hit. I mean, he's listed at like 175. He looks bigger than that. He's a ripped up kid. He is on the slender side, but he's a strong, you know, if he is 175, he's a strong 175. I'd be willing to bet you he's going to be closer to 185 uh, by the time he's at Notre Dame. And he's a guy that could be 195 when it's all said and done, 6'1", 195. Powerful kid, rangy kid, covers a lot of ground. Uh, Instinctive in coverage, too. Yeah. I I think when you look at him, he does more so zone. He doesn't play a ton of man. At least I haven't seen him play a ton of man. But he does a great job picking up crossers and drags. Like he sees them early. He takes good angles. He's constantly beating them to the point of the ball. So basically, you know, if a, if a receiver's kind of running a drag route and the safety's right. over here, the ball's coming. You want to beat the receiver to the ball, right? And he does that so well. You don't do that well if you need two things to do that well. Number one, you got to be an intelligent football player. And he shows that. Number two, you kind of have some closing speed, some quickness, right. some ability to plant and change speed quickly. And he shows that. So there's a lot that I like about Justin Walters. I just wish we would have had a chance to see him play as a senior. Because again, he's another guy whose grade is hindered. Same with Chance Tucker, same with Jason Onye, guys whose grades are hindered because we don't have senior film to evaluate them on. So, but just based on junior film, I like what I see from him. I like what I saw from Chance Tucker. I I just wish we would have had a chance to see that next step for him. But if he takes the step that I think he's capable of, this is a kid that could help you early. Okay. Maybe not as a freshman early, but if he had to play as a freshman, he wouldn't embarrass himself. You, you know what I mean? Like, and he's a guy that that when I look at Justin Walters, I say this about him. At the very least. He's a three-year starter on special teams at okay. the very least. Okay. And at, at best, he's a three-year starter at safety. You know, and, and so because he could be one of those five-year guys at safety, which are rare. You don't see him much. But because he needs the development physically, he missed his senior year, I could see a scenario where a fifth year might be good for him. Gotcha. And and that's going to change some things with a lot of these kids not playing their senior years. They missed a whole year of, of football development. So, yeah. yeah. He's a guy that I really like. He's another guy that I look at and say, I think he's going to have a chance to outplay where I have him ranked. But I can't.